Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, I'll be your host. And in this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a technique that I kind of did last week, but I never really showed you how to achieve it. I got a lot of emails and a couple of comments on the blog that wanted to know how I achieved that split tone look that I created last week when we copied our settings and applied them to multiple images and things like that. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today and we're going to do this all within Camera Raw. So it's completely non-destructive and it creates a really cool little effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase the exposure of this image. Now this happens to be a JPEG image so all of my values are going to be set to zero here but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just increase the exposure just a little bit to about uh, 0.25. I might even add a little bit of fill light, maybe about three or four, and I'll also increase the blacks of the image just a little bit. Now, the last thing that I did here in the basic panel was I added quite a bit of clarity to the image, so about 50 for clarity. And then the last thing I did, I came back over here and I worked on the grayscale and split tone sliders. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the HSL grayscale sliders. I'm going to select convert to grayscale and what we're going to do here we're going to increase the highlights a little bit on her skin tone so we're going to lighten up the orange values just by dragging as you can see your skin tones get a little bit lighter as you do that now I also went down here and I decreased the blues and the magentas a little bit and also the purples took those down just a little bit and you could also take down the reds a little bit as well if you wanted to do that just to kind of darken up the image give a little bit more contrast between her and the background and finally we're going to come back over here we're going to choose split toning and inside the split tone dialog box what we're going to do is we're going to take this top hue for the highlights and I'm going to hold down my option key so that I can see a full saturated preview of what color I'm picking I'm going to select an orange color for that for the highlights let go of that and then we're going to increase the saturation until it gets to a point that I like. Maybe about 45 will do the trick for this. Next we're going to pick our shadow color. I'm going to go ahead and hold down my option key again. Drag this slider and for the shadows I had picked kind of a dark bluish purple color. I'm going to let go of that and we'll increase the saturation. I, pick, I push the saturation a little bit more for the shadows for that look I got last week just to give it a little bit more of a kind of a darker feel and finally we'll go over to the lens correction section and we'll add a vignette to that photograph so there you have a very quick and easy technique for creating what I think is a very very good look for this particular photograph so there you have it the technique that I did last week but didn't really show you all that much so that's it for this episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. If you've got any questions or comments or just want to drop me a line, you can do so on the blog page at www.photoshopquicktips.com or you can visit my personal blog at justinseeley.com. Thanks everybody for watching this episode and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.